Hi, I'm Emily Beachy, the creative director for Heartfelt Creations, and today I'm going to show you some projects featuring the Vintage Florette collection. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is teach you how to make these little rosebud and how to shape the main flower of this image. So to get started, I stamped my image with the dark brown chalk ink and cut it out with the coordinating dies. If you haven't done that before, you'll want to watch our video called Matching the Stamps and Dies. And I colored these flowers with a Glimmer Glam. Um, it really reminds me of a fingernail polish. It kind of applies like that. But you can color this very quickly. It adds a little bit of shimmer. And um, you don't have to spend a lot of time coloring your image. Um, with the Glimmer Glam, it dries very quickly as well. Um, if you have multiple colors, you can blend colors too. This one I'm just using a light vintage pink. So we'll do all of these petals. If you get a little bit too much on, you can always wipe that off on an excess piece of paper or even with your fingers. So we'll just finish this petal. Once that's finished, we're just going to lay this aside real quick to dry. And we're going to switch to making the little bud. When you make the bud for this flower, you'll want to flip the stamp side face down and you'll use two glue dots with this small flower. The main importance with this is you want to make sure that you don't get your fingers stuck to the glue dots, otherwise it's a fairly simple process. Put that one glue dot on, flip it around, put another glue dot on. Um, your object is you want to make sure that all of your petals have a little bit of glue on them so that when you crunch those petals together they will form a bud. So once you've got the glue dots on there, you'll push these buds together and that starts forming your rosebud. I don't know how easily you can see that but basically you just push them together until you have the shape you desire. Um, the harder you press it, the more enclosed the bud will be, or you can have it more open like this one is. Every bud turns out a little bit differently. So once you've made your bud, you can lay that aside. And then we're going to flip these flowers upside down and shape them. I'm using a molding mat, and I'm going to use a stylus. For this flower, we'll just give it some pressure on the back. For the largest petal, I'll do a couple presses and that starts shaping that flower. So we'll do that on every petal. For the smaller ones, I just give it one, I guess you could call it one poke. We'll do that on each petal. Once it's done on that side, we'll flip these around, and then I'll press them down in the middle, and that starts making those petals have an outward view. So we'll put that together, and then you can add some glue in the center and offset those petals to stack this flower. What I really like about this flower is it just shapes very beautifully with the five petals. And if you use the same sizes, it really just brings more dimension in there. Um, and then you can go back and just glue that little rosebud in the center. So that completes our rose. So we've seen what we can do with the products. Now we're going to show you the products. This is the Vintage Florette Paper Pack. Um, it comes with 24 double-sided papers two sheets of each design. And the first page we've got the florets with the truck. All of our backgrounds are very neutral, so you can use them with anything. This one we have a fancy door with the vintage florets. This is the paper I showed you earlier. So the back side of that is a dark brown. We've got a really fancy decorative window on this one. It's a dark brown background. We've got some pink neutral colors. I love the shabby chic look of this paper. This is the background of this one. This has a spray of vintage florets all the way around the edges. And then this one has the pot with the vintage florets. And this is the background. Who doesn't like pink? I use pink on everything. And then we've got our border background. And then we finish it off with the journaling blocks and some sayings. So these are really fun. Now we're going to switch to the stamps and the dies. 
This is the vintage floret die. There are seven flowers in this set. And then we have the open vintage floret stamp set. This is the full vintage floret set. And then these are the mini vintage floret. This is the vintage floret bouquet. And then we have the bold vintage floret background. This is the one that I used for the background in the cards that I was showing. Thank you for watching this video. You can visit us at our website, heartfeltcreations.us, for many more samples with the Vintage Floret Collection, or you can follow us on Facebook or visit our blog. Until next time, have a great time stamping and scrapbooking.